This first level of O'Brade Stadium is all player amenities. Coming up upon our locker room, as you walk in, you see we have uh, 40 lockers for our, our squad. Just a super bright, clean environment in here to walk in and see your teammates and listen to some music, play some video games. Mr. O'Brate's name and lights in the ceiling is a reminder that everything we do, we should sign our work with excellence, much like he did for us to give us this gift. This is a great space for the guys. As I tell them, it's their locker room. Treat this like it's your house. Take care of it, appreciate it, because we're very lucky to have a, a wonderful place to call home. All the lighting is uh, sensitive to motion, and so uh, that nice mood of when you walk in, the whole place just turns itself on like that, just to kind of show you that it's time to get to work. This is our practice and game May locker room. As you see over here, we got like a little player's lounge area where they kind of just eat their snacks before practice, kind of get their minds right. And Jimbo's four core values and also grit. A lot of money goes into this, yeah, man, a lot of money. Now let's actually go to one of the lockers. As you can see, like some of these guys, it shows their name, their jersey number, shows their class, their position and where they're from. It has the star where they're from. And then they have the Twitter name up on top. And when you push in, all their shoes come out on the bottom, push it back in, closes automatically, you open it up. It's just your typical locker room, as you can see. They try to keep it clean on the outside for stuff like this, you know. The locker rooms were a part of the project that got added later. It was not originally intended to do the locker rooms as part of the project, um, but we felt the need to find a way to make that part of what we did. So the locker rooms are in the place they were before, but completely renovated. Each coaching staff has a locker room. There's an area for the players lounge, for the players to have a locker space, to shower, place to eat, and then a training room dedicated to those basketball teams. There's a locker room they use for game day and usually two to three days, like I talked about, leading up to, uh, to each game. We practice over here, let them get shots on the court we play on. This locker room is a little bit more sentimental. Um, you, as you can see, like you have the back, the darker backdrop, that's the coal. Obviously being in the state of West Virginia, it's, it's a coal mining state. Something that's meant so much to the state for so long and, and it's people and, and I told you, you know, when coach brings these guys on campus and, and brings them to play for West Virginia University, you know, not only are they coming to play for us, we're playing for the people. Black backdrops, you've got the glass usually that you went out throughout the game where we have recruits that have the jersey, their name hanging up in there. Um, the vents underneath each door where they keep their shoes, things of that nature. So they don't got to worry about bringing this one pair here or bringing that one pair over there. They're, they're very well taken care of. But yeah, this 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 is a locker room when you, know, you take photos in here and especially for official visits, it's, it means something it's special. So this is really home for the guys. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a... This is nice. Yeah. It's like a, a spaceship almost. <laughs> so obviously we have lockers for everyone, um, which is much different than our previous uh, locker room situation. We had some guys sharing some things, um, but one for everybody. Um, minimal furniture in here because we don't want to crowd it up too much. We have another area, um, a player's lounge and a nutrition area that has TV. So we didn't do any of that in here. Um, and then each locker has got some nice features to it. Um, you got name plates up top. They'll all be personalized when the guys come back with a headshot, name, number, um, position, hometown. So that'll go all the way around the room for all 32 players. Places for hats, glove, hang things. Um, the back rest comes out. You've got a security box in here. Ooh, nice. With charging stations for phones and laptops. And then underneath you have storage here also for footwear. We are standing in the game day locker room located within Donald W. Reynolds Razorback Stadium at Frank Broyles Field. Got you, got you. Now you guys have uh, somewhat of a tie uh, to the Dallas Cowboys. We do. Um, and this locker room is a, a, a kind of a, you know, it stands as a symbol of that and explain why that is. We did take some inspiration when developing this. Uh, there is some similarities between this locker room and the locker room of the Dallas Cowboys Stadium because of Jerry Jones, a former alumni here and a part of our 1964 national championship team. And that's kind of, uh, he was very influential here and continues to be influential here. Definitely, definitely. And you guys, this, this facility right here, uh, it seems like it can hold two football teams. It does, it's this is space. a huge space and it is not, it's designed like this on purpose between our offensive skill on this side, offensive linemen, defensive skill, defensive linemen and our special teams here in the middle. So when Coach Pittman wants to address the entire team, stand under this beautiful white hog, and he can talk to everyone. Now, this locker room, 
immaculate, by the way, Dan. We lo looked at a lot of kind of oval and circular locker rooms as precedent images before we started the process. But the circular shape is really meant to, to have this room really feel less like a set of a series of stalls, individual stalls, and really as a series of surfaces the bench, you know, the actual stalls feel more like they're part of the wall surface. And that idea was really from Coach Carvel to really have this space have a, a feeling of unity, kind of starting from, from the bottom up here. We're a bit more sparing with the use of wood where, you know, you can see it's out of the way. Um, we've got this little angle on the bottom that keeps, you know, skates from backing up and hitting the and damaging the wood. And then we do have the wood element on the on the back of the seat rest here that's kind of protected by the cushion. And then we use it up at the top. Kind of everything in the middle here is is made out of solid surface, stainless steel, and then the back panel is a is a phenolic uh, panel engraved with this this diamond pattern. Now we're in this the spacious locker room, newly renovated, very clean and sleek. What are your favorite parts about this locker room? I love the way it looks. The door's closed, you can kind of hide clutter that the guys kind of have. It's sleek, we got the video boards up top, their name plates. Overall, I think it's just a, a really clean look. So we got Adonis's locker here, really nice. The doors fold in, plenty of space for shoes, hang loops, hanging rack, all that. We got a wireless charger down here, other chargers. And then the cool thing, underneath their seat, each one is individually vented to the outside, so you know, their shoes start to stink, it just kind of flows some air through there, so it keeps them fresh. Where we're at right now is our locker room here, which we unveiled this past season. It basically tripled the space that we were living in before. And as you can see, we have 110 of these lockers, so each one of our players has in their own individual space to prepare for the game. Right, and the unique feel in here is the stainless steel. Seen it at a couple of places. I know Longhorn Lockers created this. Let's look at the functionality of the individual lockers. We looked at what other people were doing around the country. We borrowed a little bit from each school. We thought with some of the unique features that worked best for us. We'll start down here. This lifts up here to ventilate it. Foot locker here so their shoes can stay down here, can air out to dry if they're wet. This folds down here. We have hanging area here where we'll hang up the game jerseys, the game pants, and their game day clothes in there. Then they can shut this. This now becomes their sitting area where they can sit there and listen to music and get mentally prepared for the game. We go up here where we have the area that lights up for their helmets. So we got the bolts always sparkling and shining and focused right there. We go into here, they can power up their phones so they can listen to their music if need be. And then this part up here, we open up and once again, that area up there is for their shoulder pads. One thing you're gonna see um, that you don't see in a lot of locker rooms, a lot of them have that wood base uh, to them. Very bright, we got it redone about two years ago. All white, very crisp. What's the significance of the, the smell? The smells are supposed to get alertness to the team, really give a focus when you walk in the locker room. As you can see, there's also little TVs in each locker. It's to see the game plan. As Coach is talking about it, they can look in and see on, on TV screens here. Around the top here, you see these little vents. That's actually where the smell is coming in. And Mark did his research. Casinos and different places, he saw that the lighting kept you engaged and, and kept you focused and made you want to be there. So the new year is here, and so is that new you. You know those body goals you're setting right now? They start first with a great dietary plan, and HelloFresh has you covered. Skip those grocery store runs that have you looking around the aisle aimlessly reading nutritional information that makes no sense. HelloFresh is the time-saving, budget-friendly choice that delivers directly to your door. With restaurant-quality meals, yes, we said restaurant-quality, not that cook it and refrigerated meal prep stuff that you tried last year that you just dreaded eating, HelloFresh provides a variety of recipes with fresh ingredients that can be cooked in less than 15 minutes. So fellas, ladies, we know you're watching and this is for you. When was the last time you made a falafel power bowl or seared steak and potatoes with Bernays some Southwest pork and bean burritos? Don't worry, we'll wait. Yeah, now you can. So look, if anybody knows, I know it can feel overwhelming. I've rotated the same three to five meals for the last three to five years. So having the opportunity to have HelloFresh boxes arrive at my place weekly has saved me on gas, time at the grocery store, and those fast food runs. Not sure why I waited so long to try HelloFresh, but I'm sure glad I did. Make sure you go to HelloFresh.com and use code Koisky21 for 21 free meals plus free shipping. 
That's HelloFresh.com, promo code Koiski21 for 21 free meals plus free shipping. Here in the locker room, there are some nods to Oracle. There are. If you walk in and look up, you see a resemblance of our old arena. We spent 47 seasons there, so it's yeah. a really important piece of our history and something that we definitely want to recognize and bring with us. So that's to the ceiling. And then when you look down, this is actually floor from our 2015 championship. They say you can only walk on it. I don't know if it's true, but if you are part of that championship or if you have a championship, I still need to confirm it 100%, but that's the rumor going around. I wouldn't want to walk across this with Draymond in the in the locker room. I think I'd do whatever Draymond says. <laughs> definitely, definitely. <laughs> now we're in the locker room and this is our new lockers and everything like that. Up top, we got uh, shoulder pads area where it's vented and even the door has holes where it can get fresh air in and out the lock box right here where you can plug in your phone ipad anything you want lock up any valuables another storage area here and something unique that i haven't seen or worked with before until these were it's a hanging area for the players if they got coats or anything they want to hang at, at the bottom you've got a vented area for all your shoes and things like that so if the shoes are damp or anything after practice, they can dry out and right. keep the locker room smell out. Now, this locker room in general is, is massive, right? It's huge. By far, it's, it's the best locker room I've ever been in. Just the functionality of it. So we're going to enter the locker room here. I've heard a lot of facilities have the eye. We've got the finger touch. Pop in here, push it down. Here's the button, click. Access granted. Welcome Sheesh. to the locker room here. State of the art. Pretty proud of this. Uh, Brad and Adam and myself uh, had a lot of input. Obviously, we're a big time user along with the players. Right here on all the crimson part is all dry erase. So they'll break in by position in different parts of the locker room. So each guy gets a photo taken here. This raises up. All the cords and power are built into the locker here. So you never see anything that way. Brought in our Infinity O pattern here. Um, this is kind of the pattern you'll see out throughout the building. Um, when the architect came in here, they developed uh, the Infinity O, meaning Oklahoma football and Oklahoma athletics doesn't stop, it goes on for infinity. Each guy can sit down here, relax, chill. They can sit, do what they need to do. Mm -hmm. Made this nice and short for them so they can interact with their teammate here yeah. so they're not just hidden. Flip this up, flip this down. So we gave the guys six hooks, so everything's hidden back here, give them ability to to hide their, their mess if they want to, or they can be clean and neat. This little uh, keypad um, behind here, it's got two USBs and two power sources. One of my favorite features that we designed, the shoes sit on here, they suck back into there and that ventilation system helps to clean them and keep the smell out. This is our player side here where they can do whatever they want. And then our equipment staff, this is locked, um, but we keep all their game stuff in there. And then lastly, on game day, this sits here and hooks. Jersey and shoulder pads are displayed here. This is spacious, man. As far as baseball locker rooms, I've never seen anything <laughs> like this. Truth be told, George, we had a nice locker room prior to this. Not obviously near this size, but that's one thing that we were very conscious about to make sure that we had ample size for them to hang out. You know, we want this to be their home away from home, essentially. And they spend so much time here, so we need to take care of them. We were pretty intentful with the way that we designed the locker to give them space to hide things, but also display things as well. This is the hat area. He has the ability to lock this upper case, and he also has the ability to plug things in, whether it's a laptop computer, his phone, or whatever. And then below, we did a couple things. We did some hiding storage back here for longer term stuff. And then of course, down here is shoe storage, which obviously, as you can imagine, the locker is hooked up to the HVAC system. Coming back in off the court right here, we have the Healy family locker room. This was just finished in January as well. You have the ribbon board, which goes all the way across the top with mm -hmm. uh, each guy's locker, their name, height, weight, where they're from. I think in here right now, I got about 16 pair. We did 12 pair that our guys got this season. Um, we're one of the few lucky schools that Nike takes care of with Nike ID. Mm -hmm. So I placed that order in the summer. So we have 12 pair of those, Nike ID, and then we have a couple couple pairs from previous years. This is the LeBron 7 Low. We got these in 2009, 2010, our first year. The coaches wore these for coaches versus cancer. Okay. And to my knowledge, there's not many pair of these in the world. <laughs> right, right. I'd say maybe about 30 tops, if that. And this one, everyone knows is a classic. Oh yeah, this is the LeBron 7 High Top. So those were also our first year, 2009, 2010, with DeMarcus, mm -hmm. Eric Bledsoe, and John, and all those guys. These are the LeBron 9, which were released uh, commercially, I believe as well, but not with the UK branding. So these were specific to us. And we got this in a black and a white pair, 2011, 2012. So. This is our locker room. I think it's uh, three years old. As you can tell, it's got honeycomb shape. 
Each locker is equipped with an iPad so the guys can watch film per coach if coach wanted them to watch. Al Jefferson bought these for our guys because it was one of those things that was on the, oh, should we get it? We get it. So he's like, you know what? I'll buy it for the whole team. Each of them have a place for the shoes and where their practice gear and their stuff hangs. And then for when they're not here, we always like to close it so they can have their own privacy. Don't have to worry about people looking in their stuff and then we'll hang a jersey. All right, Jake, this is a massive, like wide open locker room. What are some of the details, the specifics about this area here? If you look at the lockers, you guys kind of have their face, their number, where they're from on there. So it's kind of personalized, which you guys love. They got a wireless charger right beside them. You guys kind of love that, set their phone down before practice going into meetings so they're not bringing their phone with them and they come back and their phone's already charging. There's a lot of stores, they have personalized lock boxes. The locker room as a whole has LED lighting. The lights kind of go with the speakers so they go along with the beat of the music. So off to the side here, connected to the locker room is our NFL locker room. So when guys come back, they want to work out with Coach Mike. We kind of have like a separate space for them that they can work out, keep their stuff with personalized nameplates as well that we can replace as they come in and out. A beer, this locker room is crazy. It is incredible. This is player centric, this entire floor, but this is the hub of it. This is our locker room. It connects directly to our players' lounge, to our sports medicine area, to the showers, equipment space. Weight room is right down the hall. But more than that, if you take the steps down, you're in the tunnel that leads straight into our stadium. So we have 126 lockers. This is a beautiful chair. It's wide enough for all of our players, O line, D line, whoever you are, you can fit into this seat. But what I find most interesting is, this is why they don't leave, because it reclines all the way back. And then you have this awesome ottoman, and really, they're just spending their day taking naps here, and it's just a great place for them to hang out. So they're at school all day, they come back in, and you have this space, storage for foam roller, extra slides, sneakers. This entire locker is ventilated, so though he has all of his cleats in here, you don't smell it. Up here is where their helmets will go. This is also ventilated, so airflow constantly going into their helmets, drying it out before their next event. And then as you open this up as well, you can see Tarheeb has his gloves, um, his mouth guards, but this is where his jersey and pads will go. It has everything they need for the day. So a wireless charger when they just want to getting ready for practice. And then you go inside of here and it's a custom shelving unit, outlets. So every single player has the ability to come back from class, relax here for a little bit, but then also be able to get ready for practice and go on to the next part of their day. A beer, the lighting in here is uh, very dynamic as well, right? So we can do a lot with the lighting, but what I'll do, I'll pull out my phone and kind of show you just our lockers can be changed. So you'll see this transition to a few different colors here and we have greens and yellows and blues, pinks, reds, and obviously we're Terps, so we keep it red. So this is a major upgrade from what we had in the past. Our old locker room had a column in the middle and guys had to move their chairs around, so we were very conscious of, of the space. The number one thing we thought about when designing the lockers was space for shoes. We wanted a ton of space for shoes because they're gonna get a lot of shoes. Um, and then obviously we wanted hanging space because when we travel, we're coat and tie everywhere we go. When you're in college, this is an extension of your dorm room or your apartment. This is home. We want you to feel comfortable here. This is your space. So when you come down here and you have your, your clothes in the locker, you wanna go in the lounge and take a nap, you wanna come sit in the hot tub, take a shower. Like we wanted you to be uh, extremely comfortable and know that you can come here anytime you want. You're used to seeing the wooden lockers that are open, you can't close them. You know, it's sleek, good design. It almost looks fast too, kind of like how we like to play. We'll have this gathering area before games. The guys will meet up with coach, get their little pregame talk in and they'll be good to go. We want all the guys to get their items back in their locker. Let's close it up. That way, when we do have those recruits coming in or those VIP people, everything looks, like I said, clean, crisp. They'll go to these built-in iPads and they'll be able to open their locker up from any location. So as y'all know, Phil Knight, he's our guy here in Uncle Phil. He's the one that makes all this possible, him and Nike. So he actually has his own locker. You gotta have to just do it up there. Keep everything in perspective around here. Top drops down, that way the guys can just grab what they need. There's no wasted movement. You don't gotta climb up on any benches. You know, everything's just right in front of you, prepared, ready to be grabbed. Then we have this charger right here. You can just set your phone on it. They also have this personal lock box. So within their locker, if they want to just throw their phone in there or their wallet before they go work out, close it, they got their own personal code. 
Now, Jordan, I know this whole renovation was $10 million, and one of the awesome parts of it is the locker room, the lockers to be exact. Tell us what's inside of here and what it looks like. Sure. So Longhorn Locker is a company out of Dallas did these for us, and they've got these doors that open, they pocket for us. So coach likes them closed for recruiting purposes so that they can kind of clean up and, and stay recruit ready at all times. But uh, when you get it open here, we've got the helmet rack with the shoulder pads and this tray pulls out so you can have some easy access to it. I see these glove racks here. You can put shoes up here. On the helmet rack here, they've got this air vent that kind of keeps the helmets dry. And then we got these drawers here for just different things, some hanging space, and they've got their own personal lock box here that's got charging outlets if they want to charge their iPads or phones or anything like that. We're in the locker room right now, state of the art locker room. You can see the stone on the wall, kind of has like that cabin home feel. And we put the doors on the lockers, make it clean, flush look. And we have ventilation running throughout the locker room nonstop. One thing we did add is the logo of Ralphie in the ceiling, rather than doing it on the ground so we don't have to rope it off and people aren't stepping on her. Uh, we put it up there as disrespect, so. When the team gets here on game day, whatever we're wearing that day, we'll have it set out for them. We have it right now with our traditional home uniform, gold helmet, black jersey, gold pants, and then whatever cleat they wear, their gloves, their compression shirt, and socks, we'll have it laid out real nice for them. This is a Mercedes Benz of lockers. We did not cut any corners when putting this together. Wanted to make sure to cover all our bases and make sure that it was a space that the guys could utilize throughout the day. So we have these zero gravity chairs here that actually lean all the way back. And the importance of the zero gravity, you know, once you get it to its full extension, you know, just try to relax a little bit and you'll feel that there's no pressure on any of your joints. Wow. But one thing I want to definitely make sure to point out is this unit back here is your Normatec unit. Each player has their own set of Normatec boots. Nice. And it's, and it's theirs. So once they graduate from here, uh, they take those boots with them. So, I mean, it's really a one-stop shopping. I, I mean, I dang near fell asleep while talking to you right now. That's how comfortable it is. <laughs> I got quiet because I did go to sleep. <laughs> it's 135 lockers in here. So every guy has their own locker, their own space. Up top, you can tell that it doesn't stink, doesn't smell bad in here. And you probably can hear that through the mic. And the ventilation system is going. The shoulder pads go here. Ventilation system also runs through the bottom of the locker as well for the shoes. There's a place in there to hang their suit because we wear suits on game day. And then there's also a separate area to be able to lock up any iPads or anything like that, wallets, et cetera. All right, Lewis, obviously this locker room is different, unique compared to any other locker room in the country, but from the naked eye, what makes this locker just the individual ones, what makes it different? You see it in its, uh, its sitting up position, right? Um, guys can come in, we usually keep the lights low during the day, and then they can come in here, take this backrest, bring it down, put it here, pull out a pillow, and catch a nap. Goodness gracious. And then you guys have the chargers. Yeah, chargers for them, chargers up top in the lockbox as well, so they can put phones up there and charge them. Or if they're down below, they can be do it there. Now this locker room doesn't smell like a locker room. Right. At all. The bottoms of the lockers where you keep your cleats and things like that, it has exhaust air out. Um, we're always pumping fresh air in. And then we have a separate room that we keep shoulder pads in that does the same as well. Give me the backstory of this place. I know when the design firm came to you guys and was like, hey, you know, you guys wanted something different. Um, how did it come to be this? Yeah, so originally it was, we wanted to make a sleeping room or an area for them to rest and things like that. And realistically, how many guys are you gonna put in a room to sleep, right? So we kind of turned towards what would be kind of almost like an airline look, right? The front of the big planes and fit it to be for a football player size. All the lockers do this and everybody can sleep in here at one time if we really needed to, but it's a place for them to rest during the day. It's a busy day in college athletics. So if you need to catch a quick 20, you can come in here and do it real quick. Who had the wildest reaction when they first walked in here? We opened this in 2019. So a guy like Kerry Vincent was like a clown on that team. Not a clown, but you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. like to have fun with everybody, right. which I think that's part of the underrated part of this locker room. Like you're talking about the locker individually, right? But as a whole, when we stand here, you can see from one side to the other. And so a guy like Kerry can be somewhere and mess with somebody two rows over. It's not really sectioned off. Everybody's together in here. Uh, behind us, you said once a tiger, always a tiger. That's always been the moniker here. You have your own NFL locker area. Right. Is there one that comes back more than the others? A local guy like Clyde Edwards-Hilaire is always around, but there's homes for every 
everybody that's, that's in the league currently. And I'm sure it enhances the, the performance of the current team. They get to, you know, bounce ideas and stuff like that. Yeah, it's cool to have those guys in here. And, you know, these guys, like you said, with the, the more recent success with, they're all relating to these guys and they're not much older than them. They can come in and see these guys and be in the locker room with them. And these guys can teach them. I just we were in the locker room. Very impressive, by the way. This Thank may be you. one of the best locker rooms I've, me personally, I've been in. What's the favorite kind of quality or aspect of the, of the locker room for the player and for you? For me, it's how efficient the locker room is for us and the setup of the locker. For what we're trying to do with the equipment to have a lot of storage space to put shoulder pads, cleats, apparel for the players, along with the space that is just private to them. The way that it's set up, it's kind of like a pod. So it's a, a private area for them with a comfortable anti-gravity chair for them to sit in. If you ask them, little things matter, you know. So there's a wireless cell phone charger in it. That was probably the biggest thing when, when we moved in here last year, was they were excited to have a wireless cell phone charger. So to have something where they can come in, just set it down on their locker, and they can let it charge during practice and not have to worry about a plug or anything. But overall, the players have liked it. They love having the chair. They love how it's personalized to them with their nameplate, it's got their headshot, their hometown, picture of the state that they're from. So just having it personalized for them is something they've really enjoyed. One of my favorite thing and most unique thing I've noticed in each locker is the seat itself. To my knowledge, it fully reclines, correct? Yes, it's an anti-gravity chair. It'll go all the way back. Can I try it out? Try it out, yeah. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'd be stuck right here. There you go. How, how's that feel? Comfortable. And then another, another little part that we put in here for the players is we've got a little button in here so you can turn off the lights. So if you are trying to come in, relax, and kind of zone out, uh, you can turn the light off. You don't have a spotlight on you. And you can, you've got peace and quiet in there. And it's all you. I think, I think I'm good, Jeff. I can stay right here. You can just go finish it out. You good? All right, well, I'll be back in a few hours. All right, take it easy. Another super cool aspect among many in the locker room, right, is the lighting itself. Like how it's kind of changing colors now, but mm -hmm. you guys can kind of change it with the mood if you want to, right? Yeah, there's different settings for this. You can have it set where it's rotating through the entire color wheel like it is right now. So it's just constantly rotating. Or you could set it where you can do it just on one color. You can go to the actual controller and you can set it to the color that it'll end up staying on. So what's a player favorite color? Crimson. It looks really sharp in here. Is there a favorite aspect that uh, kind of 49 kind of designed as far as graphic wise uh, in the locker room? I think everything, how everything was designed in here, how they took our locker design, how they kind of designed everything else around that between what they did with the ceiling, what they did with the lighting system, how they put everything together, the walls, how they put the list of all Americans by year around the locker room. They did a really outstanding job by taking the locker and really bringing everything together and keeping the, the look consistent. And it's, it's a really sharp locker room.